I do. So your rookie year, um, how what was your playing capacity? Were you a special teams guy? Were you practice squad? How were you seeing the field? Yeah, man, I did practice squad and special teams. Like that was basically, you know, you know how I got my foot in the door in the NFL. And I, you know, I played in three regular season games, so I, that was a blessing, man. That's uh that's next level to be to be able to run out that tunnel and see that crowd and like really realize that your dream is happening. You know, um it's 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 you look back and you just think like, man, that's 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 amazing, that's a blessing. Like I'm out there with RG three, Kirk Cousins, um, Trent Williams, um, Ryan Kerrigan, you know, people that, you know, just a year before you was looking at like those those the pros, that's that's where you aspire to be. And I was on the same field as them. So like that was next level. Um, and you know, uh, I had a short stint with the Redskins. You know, I, I balled out during the preseason. I had I led the team in tackles, um, made a lot of second on the team in special team tackles. Um, I was balling out, you know, and I didn't actually make the team initially with the Washington Redskins. I uh, they put me on the practice squad, um, which was a big deal, you know, me being a high ported free agent. And they and they said that you know eventually down this season. Um, we know we're going to activate you and put you on the active roster. and um, it, it, But the thing is, you know, I thought I had time. And that's why I want to teach the young kids too, man. It's like you don't have time when you make it to that level. Like you need to prepare every day and, do, and don't think that, you know, with this business, this job, like it's not like college in which people are waiting for you to develop. No, they need you to develop fast because if, if an injury happens or something happens, they want you to step in and be able to be a viable you know, contributor to the team, you know, and um, I thought I was going to be me, right, a viable contributor, but I didn't know it was going to be week two. So one of the starting linebackers got hurt, uh, got a concussion, and uh, I was activated for week two. So my first NFL game was versus St. Louis Rams versus Todd Gurley, um, Tavon Austin. Um, I remember being on a plant team, and uh, I had uh, somebody on me. Uh, I got off the block, got down there real fast, and the ball hit the ground, and Tavon was about to come field it. And I'm like, man, I better get up on this before Tavon get this ball and make me look silly. So I sped up and got on him and made him and made him uh, you know, um, made him fair catch the ball. So that was uh that was a next level moment for me because I'm like, man, I I I was I was hoping I got that opportunity to make a tackle on Tavon. That would have been major. But I was the first man down the field, my first play in the NFL in a regular season game when it really counts. And uh, you know, I had a good game. My second game versus the Giants. Uh, on a Thursday night, that was a tough game for me. That was my that was my second game ever playing. They moved me, so I was kind of like a utility guy. So I, they moved me to wing um, on punt, which is probably the hardest position on punt. They made me go against Rashad Jennings. Yeah, so it was a tough one. He blocked the punt on me, and uh, we only had a short week of practice. It was uh, it was on. We only practiced that Tuesday, and they moved me over. And I and I and I never had played wing before. And I and at that point in time, you know, being a rookie. I didn't want them to not have faith in me, so I was telling them, no, I'm good, coach. I'm going to be able to do it. In actuality, I probably should have been like, coach, this is probably too much for me. You know, a lot a lot of life was spinning. You know, I had to get, you know, get a place now. You know, I'm staying at a hotel. Now I'm going to add the roster. I got to get a place now. You know, all those things, I probably should have had somebody else handling that for me and me just focus on ball at the time because I didn't realize how big a deal it was. But, you know, I gave up a block punt to uh, Rashad Jennings. Uh, in the end zone, um, and you know, and it was funny too because at that point in time, I was almost looked at in the Redskins organization like a, as like a diamond in the rough, which was you know, and uh, you can't never believe your press clippings, fellas. Never believe your press clippings because as soon as I gave up that block punt, uh, the coaching staff changed on me. They 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 thought that you know I didn't care or that you know I wasn't focused or. Whatever it was that they were, you know, insinuating at the time. And that was the first time I had ever been on a national stage. And, like, somebody had made me look bad. I was used to making other people look bad. That was the first time it ever happened to me. So it was a very different experience. And that's when I realized how big a business the NFL is. Everything matters. So, um, yep. So so after that happened, I played a couple another two games with the uh, Redskins. Then they ended up uh, signing Mason Foster, uh, starting linebacker. He used to play for the Tampa Bay, but uh, they brought him in, and so they released me. And so for two weeks, I was without a team, and then the Minnesota Vikings called me. So for the rest of the year, I go to the Minnesota Vikings. 
um, which was probably the best thing that ever happened to me, man. The, the Vikings organization was great. Love their coaches. Love how they treated the rookies in terms of, like, you know, letting us know how serious things were and, and, and um, uh, really, you know, really teaching us, take, giving us that time to really um, understand the ins and outs of what everything was going on. And Minnesota was probably the best time I ever had in the NFL. Uh, we ended up. I ended up playing in that playoff game where AD, not playing, but I was at. The, I was at the playoff game in which uh, AD ran for like 150 versus Seahawks. Probably one of the coldest games in NFL history. And uh, Cam Chancellor had at the end of the game, he said he had frostbite on his fingers. But that was the game we missed the field goal uh, from the three yard line to win the game. We missed the field goal and uh, lost the playoff game. And um, the Packers ended up going to the to the to the dag um, the Packers ended up going to the NFC Championship that year, even though we had beat them in the NFC North. So it was crazy on that level. And then my next year, I played with the Vikings, which was fun, you know, just on a practice squad, you know. And then they released me, and so that was my NFL journey. Was you know, I was mostly a practice squad player. Got a couple regular season games in, um, did well in all the preseasons that I played in, made plays. That's one thing I could be proud of is the fact that even though that the numbers didn't really work in my favor in terms of, you know, me being a draft pick or me being, um, you know, a guy that they that they saw that they wanted to have on their team, I did make a lot of plays and I did make some decent money to get my life started in the NFL and I'm forever grateful for that. And, uh, yeah, man, that was my NFL journey. Okay, okay. So I'm, 